I did a video on how some parents, some mom, are very fearful for their children. I will link it below. Uh, but basically, it was about a mom who posted on Facebook about how fearful she was for her children, that she doesn't go anywhere, she's afraid to go to the mall. And a few other moms jumped on and said, yeah, I feel that way. I don't even want to go out the house because I'm so afraid something will happen to my children. So I picked up this cup this morning. It says, walk by faith. Walk by faith. And so today we're going to talk about wisdom is not fear. Wisdom is not Welcome back to Church Girls Want to Get Married Too. My name is Janice Hilton Thompson. And yes, we talk about a variety of topics because all of these things has to do with us building our Christian faith and our lives and living. Because there are a lot of uh, single moms. I was a single mom for 19 years. I was 19. My daughter was 19 years old. And so, yes, all of these topics uh, affect us. So wisdom is not fear. So 2 Corinthians 5, 7 says, we walk by faith and not by sight. Proverbs 4, we're going to start reading at verse 5, one of my favorite scriptures. Proverbs 4 and 5 says, get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all you're getting, get understanding. Yes. And so I am wearing my uh, pink ribbon, my shirt in support of my sisters who have fight with cancer. I lost a friend this year beautiful sister I grew up with um, back home in Jamaica. Uh, she found a lump. She didn't tell her doctors. She didn't tell her husband. And by the time her family figured out what was going on with her because she was getting sick, it was too late. And so this year she passed. Very sad. I sat right here waiting for you. Our other classmate that we grew up together, she called, she said, Janice, did you hear that sister so-and-so passed? I cried like a baby. I cried, I cried, I cried, I cried, I cried. She found a lump. She didn't tell him. It was too late. I have several other sisters, her sisters, coworkers. My beautiful sister, Wanda, I'm sure she wouldn't mind me calling her name because she said she was going to give me one of her shirt to wear but I bought this shirt from her know her for 13 years and for 13 years she's been fighting for her life she's fighting she's fighting she's fighting for her life and so getting back to the fear for our children I posted it in one of my Facebook group and we had a very intense conversation and one lady said, oh, life insurance is because you're afraid, you're fearful. No, life insurance is not because you're afraid or you're fearful. It's wisdom. So I asked, do you have car insurance? She says, yes, I have car insurance because I have to have car insurance. I said, do you have life insurance? That's what the question came up, excuse me. No, I don't have life insurance. You have kids? Yeah, I have kids. So God forbid something happened. What's going to happen to your kids? They'll be all right. I was so shocked. And I asked, do you have uh, insurance for your apartment? No, I ain't got no insurance for my apartment. Why well, need insurance for my apartment? Girl, get you some insurance for your apartment. It's cheap. It's, it's about $100. When I had an apartment, it was about $120, $130 a year. And so we want to differentiate between fear and wisdom. Going to get our mammograms, girls, is not fair. That's wisdom. I'll be 42 this year. And I started once I turned 40. My doctor wrote out my script, went to the 
sent it to uh, the hospital around the corner from me. I actually walk from my house. I usually go on my birthday. They say, go around your birthday. So you remember it's a year you need to go. And I walk right around the corner. So it's about a 15, 20 minute walk and go right around to the corner to the hospital. And I happily go and say, here, because I'm thinking about Wanda that's been fighting for her life for 13 years. I'm thinking about all my sisters, coworkers, friends I've lost to breast cancer because they were fighting. Some have lost the fight, but they're with the Lord. And so wisdom is not fear. Wisdom is the principal thing. I go every year now. It's June, July. I will get my letter in the mail. It's almost that time again. And I happily call and say, I'll be there on this date. Wisdom. Every six months, I go to the dentist. I don't like going to the dentist. I don't. Every six months, Lexi and I, me and Lexi go together. The two Michaels go together. Lexi and I, we're there sitting up in the dentist chair. Lexi actually has to go every three months because she had braces and they have to check every three months. I go every six months. But every six months, I'm there. That's not fair. That's wisdom. Every year, it's almost that time for me again. Go get my physical and my pap smear. I might need to call, check my date. Next month, I'll be there to see my doctor. She's been my doctor for 25 years. I'll be there. Legs up. Give me my pass. Wisdom. My physical. Check, check, check everything. Check your weight. Check your weight. Everything. That's wisdom. Take my daughter to the doctor. Wisdom. Every year, you go get your eyes checked. Wisdom. My husband turned 50. He had to go get his prostate checked. Wisdom. Our son goes, get his shots. I believe in getting shots. I think it's your business if you want to or not. It's every parent's right to choose. He's four. Now he just go get a physical or when um, something is wrong. Wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. With all you're getting, get understanding. So fear, my sisters is not wisdom. Wisdom is not fear. We walk by faith. We walk by faith. I'm not waiting until it's time for me to go to glory to make Jesus Christ the Lord of my life. I accepted the Lord Jesus when I was 12. I was raised in the church, but I accepted him when I was 12, and I knew there was a difference inside of We in this house, you have to have insurance. Car, you have to have insurance. So ladies, please understand that taking care of yourself is not being fearful. That is wisdom. Think about how many women we've lost to cancer. Why not go? Yes. It's uncomfortable, but think about all of our sisters that we've lost. Wisdom. Go to the doctor. Get your pap smear. Wisdom. Go to the dentist. Check your teeth. Wisdom. Check your eyes. I have 20-20 vision. I go to see Dr. So-and-so up there every year. Every year we go. <laughs> My husband has been going my husband wears glasses, and my husband has been going to that doctor. The doctor now, the eye doctor now, his father was the eye doctor when my husband was a little boy. So my husband's been wearing glasses since he's been two, and now the son took over the practice. Every year, we all up in there getting our eyes checked. What you see? A, B, C. I have 20 20 vision. I still go because it's wisdom. So my sisters, what I want to encourage you today, wisdom is not fear. Saving for college, I shared on another video. They asked, what you do with your money? We're laying up an inheritance for our children's children. When my son 
get, I'm not sitting waiting for him to, oh, he can get scholarships. Mm -mm. The Bible says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children. We saved it for his college. <laughs> Soon as he got his social security, added him to the life insurance. Soon as he got his social security number, that boy was probably a month old. He already had a college fund in his name. We started his college fund with them. He's going to private school all the way. I already have an account. Every month, I put a little something in there. This is his money to go to private school. Go to private school. He's going to private all the way. He's going private all the way. Wisdom. With all you're getting, get understand. Wisdom is a principle. What is wisdom? Knowing what to do when you don't know what to do. You know what to God will give you the wisdom to what to do. So there's no need to be fearful. Don't be afraid for your children. Watch my other video. I'm going to do another video about not being fearful. We speak God's word. We get up every day. I take care of myself. I've always been in my health. I can tell you what I'm going to weigh tomorrow based on what I eat today. I can tell you. And it's right on point. Because I've always been in my health. I take care of myself. I drink water. I watch my weight. Wisdom. Our bodies is the temple of the Holy Ghost. God lives in my body. So why not take care of my body? Why not go get my eyes checked? Why not go to the dentist? Why not get a physical? Why not get a pap smear? Why not go get a mammogram? If you're at that age, and ladies, if you, you know, if it runs in your family, you know you need to go. You don't have to wait till 40. Wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all you're getting, get understanding. Having wisdom. Taking care of your business. Planning. Having a will. You go to the, uh, go to the hospital. I go to the hospital, get my mammogram. They ask you, do you have a living will? And I'm like, I'm just, I'm thinking, I'm just here to get my mammogram. Why do you need to know if I have a living will? But they ask you, do you have a living will? Do you have a will? They ask you, do you have a resuscitation? Something, something, something. Forgot the correct term. Why? You're planning your life out. You're planning your life out. You're planning your life out. My daughter is special classified, especially she'll be 25 this year. I have to plan. I have to plan it out. She has a support coordinator and her budget is $25,000 a year for her to do day program. She has a very small budget because she's considered high function, so she doesn't need as much care, but she needs enough to attend day program. It's really not enough. So what we have to do, we have to pinch. Oh, she has so many holidays, so you minus that day. How many days you're gonna be on vacation this year? Five. Okay, so we're gonna take away five days just so that it can last. Planning. Planning. Last week, Friday, her day program was closed, so I had to plan with the other program. Could you please pick her up? Because the other program is closed. Plan. 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 Planning. Planning is not fear. It's having wisdom. When my mom, when my husband's mom passed, he knew exactly what she wanted. He walked in the funeral home and was out in 30 minutes. They were so surprised. And the man, the director said, he said, I wish, I wish more families would be like you and your mother, knowing what their family members wanted. Why? Because she talked about it. And my husband went in there, 30 minutes. This is what she wants. This is what we're going to do. Plan it. So sisters, plan. Take care of your health. Take care of yourself. Use wisdom. Get everything you need to do. Get some wisdom on financial uh, literacy. Dave Ramsey, I love, 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 love Dave Ramsey. My husband and I, we did his Financial Peace University. I think it's a nine-week program. It was wonderful. I've always been in finances. I've always been knowledgeable, always loved finances. Get Dave Ramsey. Get some kind of financial education. Because if somebody's talking about you don't have Renter's insurance. What if you have a fire? Then what? You lost everything. You don't have life insurance. You have kids. What's going to happen to your babies once you're gone? 
That's not fear. That's wisdom. Because we're all going. Read the Bible. We're all going to go. But we have to use wisdom. All right. I pray that you hear me. I pray and I encourage you to hear me, my sisters. Use wisdom. Everything you need to do, wisdom. Everything you need to take care of is wisdom. I love you, girl. You know I love you. Mm, I love you. Subscribe if you have not, and please share. And remember to invite a friend. Ta-ta, darling.